The Full Plume Co-op is essentially going to serve as a network for public land hunters and private land hunters alike. It'll essentially be an affiliation of, and a group of guys that will be able to drop lines to one another uh, when there's uh, a draw hunt that they need an ATV for or a spot that they need a boat to get to or a spot that they don't quite know yet and somebody else does. They can drop a line to other members in the co-op um, and hopefully find somebody that can help them in that situation. So there's never going to be uh, a waste to draw or an opportunity that's missed because of lack of resources again. So that's essentially what we're setting it up to do. I essentially see the co-op uh, acting as a sort of surrogate friend group for a lot of guys. It's so hard to meet people in person nowadays. Um, this will sort of expedite that process uh, and put you in contact with guys that you know have shared values um, and that share the same sort of interests and passions as you do um, and that are also trustworthy folks that have been vetted um, and you know they're not going to steal your spots or anything like that. We've set up a whole system of rules um, to make sure that everybody's acting honorably and doing what they're supposed to be. Um, and if they're not, then they'll be removed from the co-op um, and they'll lose all their, their benefits of that. Down the road, I see the co-op uh, hopefully having chapters in every state um, where guys can get together and hunt and maximize their hunting opportunities on increasingly challenging public lands. And then obviously I'd be, it'd be awesome to get those chapters exchanged in hunts. Um, so say a guy from Arkansas wants to go down and hunt South Louisiana, he can contact his full plume chapter in South Louisiana. Those guys can make a trade for hunts um, and that way uh, we can sort of get around the, the price barrier for a lot of the, the, the hunting industry nowadays and, and guys can expand their horizons and knock off some of those bucket list hunts without having to save for three years to do it. It's, it's really exciting. I'm looking forward to it and it's been really cool to work uh, together with a lot of the brands that we've brought on board as sponsors as well. Um, I know we've got Falling Tide obviously, but we've also got brands like G&H Decoys, A-Bear's Custom Decoy Rigs, um, slew of other folks. We've got uh, Big White Tail Dreams, Tree Straps, we've got Dirty Duck Coffee, There's, and I'm not mentioning everybody, but there's an, there's an exciting package of, of companies we've put together um, to offer our members exclusive discounts through the co-op um, that they're not going to be able to get anywhere else. It's going to be a really neat way for people to, to sort of return to the, the camaraderie that used to make the sport so special. Um, it's vital that we have that because it's what has made our sport what it is um, and we've gotten away from it to a large extent uh, and it's hurt our like our, our sport on the whole and if you see these videos of guys like running over each other at ramps and stuff I mean it's scary I mean, but you should never put yourself at risk your life at risk to, to go on a duck hunt and so by setting up this affiliation of guys and this group we can sort of tear down some a little bit of that competition and by putting everybody back in contact um, and sort of grouping everybody back up, we can return some of that, that friendship and camaraderie to the sport that is so important and that we all grew up knowing and love so much.